Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be discussing how to create a title page in Final Draft for a screenplay. Now, title pages are important because they tell the reader what the title of the screenplay is, and also who wrote the screenplay, uh, the contact information for the writer. Uh, it could be an address, phone number, email address, uh, text number, whatever. Uh, and there's also room to put, uh, if the screenplay is based on something else, like a, a book or characters from another project, anything, there's room to put that as well. Uh, so the title page is definitely what you need. Um, now I'm using Final Draft because that's what I write all my screenplays in. Uh, if you have a normal word processing program, uh, it'll be a little bit different, but the concept is still the same, and we'll get into that more as I go on here. Um, but first, let's just open up a new document in Final Draft. So, click New. Now, normally you might think, okay, this is the first page of a, of a screenplay. This must be where the title page goes. Actually, not in Final Draft. Uh, and now, if this was Microsoft Word, then the title page would go here, or, you know, on the first page. But in Final Draft, they do it a little bit differently. You, you go to Document, and then they have a separate thing for Title Page. And see, and then it brings up like a Title Page template. And now, when you have this, it'll automatically get inserted before the first page. So if you, save this to a PDF file or uh, print it, then this page will be there first. Even though it's not on the first page on that other area, it's still going to be there. So, and, and they give you, you know, they space everything out, they set the margins for you. Um, so all you have to do is fill in the blanks. So, script title, um, a walk in the park, I don't know, just make something up. Uh, written by Doug or Johnson, based on, oh, excuse me, based on, like I said, if, if it's based on something, uh, you can put that there. So let's say it's based on the characters, so <laughs> characters, creators, characters, oh my god, I'm not doing well today, characters. Yeah, it's too early. Based on the characters created by, uh, uh, I don't know, Jack Nicholson. <laughs> totally random. Okay, based on the characters created by Jack Nicholson. Totally random. Uh, now down here, the address phone number, if you want to put, you know, the, your address and phone number, or the writer's, if there's another writer, you put their address and phone number. So, 55 Park Street. Uh, five, you know, whatever. And then you could possibly put your email to, oh, wait. okay, if it does that, you don't want to have two pages for the title page, so all you got to do is go up to a, one of these blank areas, hit delete, and then it sets it back to normal. Email the at AOL.com, just something random. Now, well, you don't have to put that, you just put... Uh, yeah, like that. You know, something like that. Um, or if, or if you want to specify, I mean, they'll figure it out, but you could put something like this if, if you really want to. It's not really necessary. It looks kind of sloppy. Uh, but, you know, you could do that, but I don't like to do that. I, because I think it speaks for itself. Just take that out. Yeah. They'll know what it is. Okay, so this, you know, basically what a title page would look like. Uh, if you don't want that, you just delete that and, and move that up a little bit if you want. If you don't want to move it up too much, you want to try to get it as much in the uh, lower left corner as you can without going to the second page. So, so there you go. Okay, Walk in the Park, written by Doug Johnson. All right, so that's the title page. And then you just... Exit out of that, and see, this is your first page again. Now, this is the first page of the actual content. So, this is where you do fade in, 
you know, exterior, the park, okay, and that, and blah, 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 blah. That's where your scene goes. All right, and then again, when you print it or when you save it as a PDF file, that title page will be first, and then this page will be second. Even though it's first here, it's really going to be second on the PDF. Um, and then when you go to another page on this, uh, and then if you write, and once you fill that out and you go to the ne next page, it'll be considered the second page, even though technically it's the third page because of the title page. But you don't count the title page. That's probably why they do it this way. You don't, you know, that's why they do it this way, I assume. But that's where it gets tricky in um, Microsoft Word because they don't have like a, a special title page template that's separate from the main document. Uh, you have to put the title page in the document in Microsoft Word or any other word processing program. Uh, so in that situation, you would have to modify the page numbers. You do title page and then on the second page in Microsoft Word, you would put, you, you would set that as the first page and then it would go from there. Um, maybe I can make another video on that next, but I, you know, I don't want to make this one too long, so we'll just keep it here for now. Um, and of course, when you save it, you save it as a PDF print to, uh, to do that. All right. So let's review very simple document title page, fill out the stuff. Uh, you can put a watermark if you want uh, there and then close this out when you're done filling it out. And it'll automatically save when you save the document by clicking save or save as. All right, um, that's about it. Uh, it's a, just a quick little run through of how to create a title page. I hope you, uh, I hope it makes sense. All right.